Just coming to you for a quick uh, lightning chat this evening uh, as I finish up a little bit of work on my bike. Um, I wanted to talk about something I noticed. So I was scrolling through my uh, news feed on Facebook and um, this, I can't remember if it was a post or a video. Um, it just kind of stuck out. But what it insinuated was that if you have people in your life to whom you are giving love, showing love, and the love is not being equally reciprocated, meaning given back to you in the same way that you are giving it or in equal proportion to the amount that you are giving, that you should remove those people from your life. <laughs> And uh, I read it, but I kept it moving. I didn't leave a comment, but it stuck with me because it didn't sit well with me. Knowing um, the way things work, it, it, it just didn't ring true. All is energy. Everything is energy. And um, in the vein of simplicity and just living life, in a simple way. I just wanted to offer a simpler means, a simpler course of action. Since all is energy, we understand that like energy attracts its like, right? So if there's something playing out in your life that you don't like the looks of, then the obvious course of action, at least obvious to me and I, I would say others, is to take a look at the self, right? There are never any victims. There, there are no victims. So outside of, outside of, I guess, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Hurt, yeah. Hurt, harm, and danger. There is never a, really a reason to physically remove someone from your, uh, from your experience, from your presence, from your life, right? Because the draw for that energy always lies within the self. Everything that you see reflected outside of you is a product of what lies within you. If it doesn't lie within you, then it, by law of attraction, which, which is a universal law, it cannot be drawn into your experience. So there is something that serves as the draw, no matter what it is, whether it's good, an, a good experience, a good relationship, a good interaction, or a bad one. It doesn't matter what it is. So rather than going through the stress and strain and the drama of attempting to alleviate people from your life, if you do the self-assessment and come to realize or allow yourself to see those things that lie within you that serve as the draw, the attractor for that experience that you don't want. When you alleviate that magically or not so magically, those experience, experiences will leave. Those people will leave. It's natural. It happens naturally. And you don't have to go through the stress and the strain of having to remove people, going through the drama of saying, I don't want you in my life anymore. It will, it will naturally happen for you because you no longer serve as an attractor. You're no longer in resonance with that particular energy that you are drawing to you. The caution and attempting to simply remove people from your life 
is that if you don't address the root cause, which is the energy which lies within the self, which is whatever that is that's serving to pull people to you or those situations or experiences that you don't want to you, the caution in addressing the external factor versus the internal factor is that although that person may leave, a similar energy will be drawn to you until you address the energy that lies within the self. This is how people get caught in loops of experiencing the same things with different people over and over again. This is how people come to conclusions that all men suck, all women suck, all, all men do this, all women do this, and they develop a label over groups because they continue to draw the same experiences because they haven't addressed the root cause, which is the energy that lies within the self, which is that thing, that belief, that block, whatever it is, that, that thing you've come to believe or not believe about yourself serve as the point of attraction for everything that you experience. So, you're not a victim. Nine times out of ten, you're, you're never a victim, right? You, we are always in choice. We are always choosing, whether you choose by intention or by default. So understand the dynamic. Understand yourself first. Learn to look for those things you seek outside of you. Learn to facilitate and develop the awareness of those things within yourself first. Because a pro as a product of source, as a fractal of the creator of all that is, you already have everything inside. I mean, you already are everything that you seek outside of yourself. You already are that. It's just a matter of coming into realization of what you already are, what you already have, the power that you already hold. There's never a cause to seek outside of yourself what already lies within. The benefit of doing the work and coming into realization of the self is that the world you see once you've done the work, the world you see reflected back to you serves to enhance or verify or validate where you sit in relation to your overall beingness of your true self, where you sit in relation to your true self. Yeah. So when you are in full alignment with your truth of being, in full alignment with your authenticity, when you've come to the point where you are able to see the world reflected outside of you and use that as a gauge to say where I am in relation to my um, true self, then your world will reflect what you now know about yourself. And this is how those things that no longer serve you are able to fall away because you no longer are in resonance with that particular energy, with that particular thing. You no longer serve to attract as an attractor for that particular energy. So you don't have to go through the pain and the, the drama of trying to drop all these people from your life. Just know that once you address yourself, then naturally people will fall away. Those things that no longer serve you will fall away. Yeah. So I hope this helps uh, somebody. Uh, if you would like to comment, feel free to do so. If you have comments on my particular take on um, dealing with um, folks who are not giving you what you think you need <laughs> in the amounts that you think you need it, that's an ego trip. 
take that. Yeah, um, feel free to comment. And um, I hope you make it a great day. Namaste.